following message was found in a small laboratory by military forces. The data has been expunged, revealing its location, recorded on a small recorder. It was found on the ground beside Dr. Keith Redness, who was found dead after getting hit by a spear in his chest. March 12th, 2014. My name is Keith. Just Keith. If you're reading this, I'd probably be dead. As you may know, Life Corps started to secretly work on... Immortality. And as you may know, we discovered the existence of the... Uh, soul. As some would call it. Unfortunately, our first few tests were rather unsuccessful. The first three subjects died due to uh, an accidental overdose. It was a chemical we created that can increase the amount of adrenaline the body produces. The next one was mutated, but was not able to become immortal, as it was immediately killed by a bullet to its head. Uh, the last subject, who was the leader of the experiment, turned out perfect. You know, at first he looked like a normal human. He was able to withstand bullet shots and dehydration. We burnt his body to a crisp as another experiment. We thought the project had failed, but we did not expect what would happen. The subject's body was able to heal itself quite rapidly. The healing process took a few hours, and his body was, you know, as healthy as it was before the experiment. He was the first immortal to ever live, and, and when February began, he went to raid gangs. Before the month ended, most of his employees were turned into immortals themselves. Uh, I was not included. But I heard rumors around the lab that he was talking about a global... A global empire? Uh, that the humans are too primitive? That Mr. Jules, the leader of the experiment, will crush most of the human population? I never really believed in it. Uh, he just eventually started experimenting on his own body. Giving him great strength and uh, an even faster healing process. March 5th uh, rolled in. Mr. Jules was still experimenting on his body. I was carrying around papers that were just written. I never really paid attention to the papers until I got to my desk and started working. Uh, I, I then saw blueprints. Blueprints of small spaceships were contained on those papers. Nuclear bombs recently and secretly sent to space hidden from the government. Mr. Jules eventually constructed clones of himself, uh, lifeless clones. It was at that point I had a son. I didn't want him to be killed by nuclear bombs, so I confronted Jules, trying to bribe him into not bombing Earth. I knew I wouldn't succeed, and I was stabbed in the stomach by a clone. He said that this clone was a clone with a replica of the part of his soul which contained all of the violence, hatred, anger, and greed. I mean, it was horrible. Truly horrible. It had long metal claws sharp enough to cut human flesh, and in its hand, it held a long spear. This clone had jet black skin, a pair of yellow eyes like a wolf's. Its ears were pointed, teeth were sharp, and was around several feet tall. I passed out from the wound I received. I awoke, soon to find Mr. Jules and the immortal employees gone, while the non-immortals were slaughtered by the clone. 
scratches and holes from the spear it had. The machine that turned mortals into immortals still existed, though. I did my best to get back home. I needed to bring my son with me. He was cared for my, by my stepbrother and my sister-in-law. I kidnapped my own son by chloroforming him. I mean, I hated them both, so I left them to rot. I placed my sleeping son on the machine. I booted it up, and the process I call immortalization began. I spent the rest of my energy watching him, knowing he would be safe. I'm still alive, though. Wait. Oh god, I see it. I see its eyes glowing yellow in the dark. The eyes of a wolf. Oh god. The message ends there. The military cleared the place, but soon enough, they too were slaughtered. Only the survivor managed to get this to the military and describe the creature that attacked them being invisible, with only its eyes like wolves were seen. He was later confined to a mental hospital. The mental hospital, too, soon destroyed. The lone survivor killed by a spear. <laughs>